So last time we bested Kokolia in combat and brought home our boy Jing Yuan. Today, I want to try to make these characters a little bit stronger and also potentially get started with the next planet. And we'll start off by doing what everyone keeps telling me to do on this account. I knew that this place existed because I did come in here on my main, but I forgot which light cone they actually gave you. Now that we are in here though, we can open this up and get ourselves the seriousness of breakfast. We did already have one of these, so I could super pose it but I feel like for this challenge it's probably better to just keep it for now and unfortunately there's only four hours left on this banner. I will keep trying to get the light cone, but it's not looking too good at this point. I did also go ahead and swap Herda's light cone onto Jing Yuan, because that's what a lot of people were saying they think the best idea would be. So now really quick, I'm just going to run around smacking enemies, getting some traps, and hopefully doing some upgrades for our team. Actually, can we even beat one of the stagnant shadows? I would hope so, but I guess I'll find out right now. I will say, it's not looking too good. It's <laughs> really not looking too good, but we are at 10 stacks here and it, it wasn't quite enough and we're dead. That's fine. We'll swap up the team a little bit. Actually come in fully healed this time. And I feel like this should go a little bit smoother. Oh, it was really close again. But this time we were able to win and that's all that matters. So now Serval can be ascended up. And now if we do a bit of crafting, I think we should be able to also level up some of these light cones. So there's one light cone maxed out. Oh, apparently this breakfast one already is maxed as well and so is serval's light cone oh and th this one was also maxed i just didn't level it so the four light cones we're using are maxed though i was just uh, i was just wondering should i swap somebody onto the other breakfast one i think for right now i'll put herda on it because the light cone she had was boosting crit damage and she has like 5% crit rate, maybe? Let's just see if we can get this nice and leveled up. Unfortunately, I can't completely max it to level 50 because I don't have enough power-up stuff, but 49 is only one level below where all the others are, so that's good enough for now. I feel like relics are where we are really struggling here, so maybe we can try some of these little combat, what, what do they call like the some, some formidable enemies, that's what it is. If we could take down some of them, which uh, they're <laughs> higher level than my whole team, then we would at least be able to get a four star relic. I was definitely not about to call it an artifact and wow, this this looks terrible for us. Everything's fine. As long as Jing Yuan is alive, we are good to go. Okay, maybe, maybe I didn't wanna fight this enemy right now anyways. Attack, Himiko, attack, yes, okay. Good. I still don't think we're winning this. Yeah, no. Oh, my space anchor's out of healing already. Oh, gosh. What level is this, dude? You are level 44. Okay, that's a bit more manageable. Of course, with my current HP, I don't really know if even that is doable for us. I guess it's time to munchy munch on some rice. And then we'll see if we can deal with this guy. I don't want to speak too soon, but it's looking a lot more promising than the last one. Oh, beautiful. Give me good artifact. Artifact. Give, uh, uh, relic. Relic. I didn't say artifact. It's... Wait for it. O okay. I don't think it gave us a four star one. So I guess it does have to be the higher leveled formidable enemies. A on, game. We're running out of chances. We need a light cone. Skip. Ooh, purple. Unfortunately, I can't use it. I guess we're gonna take a little trip over to the next planet because I know that you can convert the stuff in the synthesizer that Jing Yuan needs, but it would just be a lot more efficient to go to the place where you can farm it. So that is exactly what we are about to do. Oh, look! It's Jing Yuan. I know I said it in a previous video about Star Rail, but I really do like how on the new planet, they kind of change everything. Like the destructible items, the technique point refill thingies, the chests. It really does make it feel like a whole different planet. Oh, I forgot about the reviving guys. That could prove to be a little bit of a nuisance for us. <gasps> It's Ting Yun, the character I have still not gotten on my main. As we proceed through this new place, I will be collecting every chest and probably doing a lot of the puzzles to try to get as many jade as possible. I think it's very unlikely that we get Jing Yuan's light cone at this point, but I am still going to try my best. It'd be kind of stupid of me not to. Oh, oh no. Um, so 
I, I have done like every single one of these puzzles on my main and I never knew that you could rotate your viewing perspective. I guess it's not that important if I solved them all without it, but I swear sometimes I am so blind. <gasps> oh, these give us four star artifact, uh, the relics. Oh, now I have even more incentive to do them. It's kind of sad, but almost every battle turns into a life or death situation for us. Again, I could just run past all of these enemies, but I do kind of want want the drops. You know what would make all of this a lot easier? If we were to just go ahead and get the five star light cone, right? E not there. Okay. This dude kind of hurts. Oh, he really hurts. Please eliminate him faster. Although I do appreciate that so far he could have killed like two characters, but he's just kind of bouncing around between different ones. Though this time I think someone's, yeah, definitely dying. Oh, look, look, it's Su Shang character that I really want on my main account. But these are not erudition characters, so we're just going to skip ahead. Oh, we have enough chests. Well, we had enough chests to get enough jade to do another pull and hopefully gold. Uh, yeah, yeah, legend, legendary, gold, whatever it is, blue, not that, not that. I forgot we're gonna have to fight Kafka here as well. The only fight that I remembered here was the big deer at the end. And is that big deer like the Kakolia of this planet? Because I feel like it's not. I don't know, personally, when I fought the deer on my main account, it just felt like a mini boss. And I don't really remember, but I don't think the music was crazy for it, like with the Kakolia fight. So I'm assuming that, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, I'm assuming it's not like the big bad of this planet, but oh my gosh, I forgot about that. Okay, wait, this is good. This is very good. If we can get this legendary light cone, not that one. I'm just going to start skipping before it even shows the holographic thing. Come on, come on, gold. Come on, please, please. You could do it. Game, you could do it. You can't do it. And I just checked. We're only around 40 pity. So in an hour and a half, I don't think it's gonna happen. That's very unfortunate. All right, no gold here. Let's maybe get some Eridition character Eidolons. And we get a character we can't use. I'm so tired of seeing March 7th. That's all I've been getting on my main. I could trade these in for 10 more pulls. I just don't know if it's worth it because we could also save up for Himiko's light cone or we can save up for when one of the characters we can actually use is in rotation. But this light cone is just so good. Uh, do we gamble? Do we, you know what? I feel like it's more exciting if we do gamble and more exciting is good for YouTube video. So, yep, we're gonna, we're gonna give it a shot, please. Show us the holographic ticket. You can do it. You can't do it. Oh, that was a mistake. It was a mistake. Big mistake was made. And we got two light cones we can't use. Okay, well now we need to try to collect jade as fast as possible. Let's go back to the car and see if Pom Pom has any jade for us. No, we, we get a standard banner wish i guess that could be something like data bank this will give us more jade okay how much time exactly do we have here we have one hour and 20 minutes so in that time i am not going to stop playing i'm going to do whatever i can to try and get some jade like for example if we spend some of this stuff here we will be able to get some jade and i actually think we have just enough for this shop as well and not that you can really tell but i'm back on the spaceship right now oh but there's there's nothing i can buy to use all of it that's fine it's a we, we just need to find a chest and uh, surely i have missed a chest somewhere i mean i know for a fact that i've missed chests oh, oh here's one got that we got okay exactly enough hello sir i would like to buy your wares give me a one of these and then i shall take this as well that gives us another pull on this banner come on holographic oh it's not holographic Ooh, ooh. what about what about the shop here i don't believe i bought much of anything here okay i did buy some stuff but we can get even more give me give me no no, no. i don't I, that that's not that's not erudition right no it's I, no no it's nihility and we didn't actually get any jade from this guy. But we did get a standard banner pull. 
Okay. Would I get more jade from doing the main story or from doing the hundreds of side quests that I have stockpiling up? Oh, there's also the simulated universe that I could probably run again. I don't know what the best approach is to this. Just, just give me, give me 27 more jade and we can do another pull. Sorry about this guards, but you need to get out of my way. Can I beat these if they're level 51? Only one way to find out. Okay, first wave defeated pretty easily. The fish are actually really helpful because they just hurt the other enemies. There we go. Took a lot of damage, but we get our five jade. Oh, 20. Oh, no, that was so worth it. Oh, okay, here we go. We solve this. We get enough jade to do another pull. Here we go. Okay, hurry. Faster, faster. Wait, 20. Why are they giving me so much? I'm not going to complain about that. Come on. Holographic ticket. Holographic ticket, please. No. Chest. Okay, very good. Very good. I don't feel like doing simulated universe is a good idea. Like yet. Oh no. We could get the rewards for the weekly stuff, but it's not even enough for a full wish. And it takes a decent amount of time to go through it all. So I feel like this is the better idea. Running around, opening chests, solving puzzles, completing the story objectives. I bet you that we could fit through that fence very easily. If we were actually chasing her, ju just go through this. I, you could just step through it, but that is fine with me because I do remember that there are a lot of chests in this area. With 30 jade, this is great. Another chest and another chest. What's that? Yet another chest for me and relics, which is really good. Give me that. Give me that Hex and Nexus puzzle. Mine. Do we have enough? Can we pull? We cannot. Ooh, mine. Give me. Jinyuan. Run faster. We need to collect all the jade. Wait. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to attempt that one right now. It's a, it's a nice big chest, but that dude's there. So, uh, no. Speaking of difficult enemies, we now have to fight Kafka. I think. Okay, so she's weak to physical wind and imaginary. All of which I don't have. Well, this should be fun. Wait, no, speed up. We don't have time to be doing this in slow motion. I am afraid that this is going to be quite difficult for us because, you know, we are AOE characters and there's only one enemy and she turns us against our own team and does a lot of damage. I'm not too worried yet because we are doing a decent amount to her, but if we do end up losing here, I guess I'm going to have to go through and really power up all of the relics, not artifacts that we have. Okay, this should do some pretty good damage to her. Okay, I was kind of hoping for more than that. In Jing Yuan, we trust. Oh, never mind. He has been possessed. Wait, so does that mean that the Lightning Lord also attacks my own team? That would be terrible. I guess not. The Lightning Lord just didn't move. Okay, we, we still lived, but it... Never mind. I'm not gonna lie. I accidentally walked back into where you start fighting her. I absolutely am not ready to try this again. Can I... Can I... Wait, can I leave? Yeah. Yeah, get out of here. Ideally, we'll enter that fight with all of our ultimates ready. And then, like I mentioned, we're also going to want to level up our relics. I, I always go to say light cones or artifacts. My brain is not set up to say relics. We now have all of our ultimates at the ready. So I will now proceed to try and level up whatever we can. I guess kind of unsurprisingly, there isn't too much I can level. I don't have all that many materials. And what we have can't really be improved all that much. I could could be a little cheeky and pop some of the consumables that might give us buffs, but I, I don't know. It's always felt like cheating in my book. Also, I don't know if this actually carries over into the battle since there's a cutscene first, but I will buff up my characters. And let's see if we can do this a bit better this time. Oh, no, 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 don't target him. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Oh, we got her down to 8%. That's so close. All right, to the simulated universe it is. It is time to try and speed run this. Oh, I think we're just unlocking destruction path, maybe? I feel like we already had that, but maybe not. There's about 45 minutes remaining on this banner. Must go faster. First mini boss of simulated universe number three. I just realized he's only weak to one of my characters. So that is very concerning. Oh, and I think he was only weak to one of my characters because I have the card where when you use an ultimate, an enemy can gain an ice weakness, but now that ice weakness is gone, but it doesn't matter because my ice character is dead. It's okay, we can still win this. There is no nothing to worry about. See, look at that. Easy. Oh, and we get these unlocked too. And then we also have this thing, which I don't think we can get any jade from if they would let me move at all or do, do anything. Please, 
Please, I don't have time. Yeah, they, they want me to try it, so I will I will try it for them. Look at that. Ooh, great. Anything good? Physical. Can't use that. I'm going to be using the reviver now that we have it. And let's actually get another curio because that's just more jade. Increase movement speed. Yes. Ooh, this restores HP. Okay, so we just can't use our ultimates for three battles. What could possibly go wrong? This will be the last battle where I can't use my ultimates though. And then we'll start regaining HP. I don't know how much HP it actually regenerates, but any HP is good for us. Okay, so we fixed the curio. When do we actually get the HP back from it? Not really sure how that works. Okay, it is time for the next mini boss already. Hopefully we can see some heals. Oh yeah, we just got a heal on Herda and on Hemic. Okay, good. The heal is working. This is probably going to hurt. Oh yeah. Yeah, that definitely hurt. Oh, but we heal a good amount. Come on, team. Don't die. Please don't. Okay, you died. You disobeyed orders and you died. Wait, that's the second time that Herda died, isn't it? Hmm, I'm seeing a weakest link on this team. Also, I just played that so wrong. I should not have left no skill points when it was Jing Yuan's turn. And for that mistake, we lose. But on the bright side, we do get some jade from this. So let's see, can we do another pull? Yes, we can. And it's going to finally be the holographic... Uh, not not the holographic ticket. Okay, we are going to go again. This time, it's not smart, but I'm going to pick destruction just because there's probably a lot of new stuff I haven't used yet. And then we are taking the curio here because we can get one that we haven't gotten. Oh, wait, heals. That's pretty good for us. Okay, I'm just going to take whatever is new. I don't really care what the actual buff is. Oh, no, we're already here. Everybody survived. That's very nice to see. Nothing is new here. Oh, but these are new. Once again, we are taking the curio now okay here's the thing this oh no it'd, it'd be such a bad idea because we heal and that's a really good one to have but if i replace them all then there's a chance that they're all new thus giving us even more thing more that this i think that's how that works okay you know what i'm just gonna take it we get those I guess. So technically, those should now be unlocked once we finish up in this world. I think that was the right play. Oh, <laughs> well, looks like we're losing. Honestly, that's fine. We're going to get a decent amount of jade after this. I'm so sorry, Jing Yuan, but this has to happen. So we can go in. We can claim this. And we can also come in and claim all of these. I think that was the right play. Okay, come on, come on. We get two wishes. Two wishes, two chances for the holographic ticket not that one that's fine because we are going to get it right here please no there's only 19 minutes left uh i i i guess yeah sure gonna have to try and take down some formidable foes this is not working so well only 15 minutes left one thing i did just unfortunately notice is that one of my characters was not built because i swapped stuff around for the simulated universe i still don't know that it would have been enough to win any of those battles but it could have helped now okay we were able to take down this dude. Now there's one other formidable foe over here. Hello, sir. I would like to kindly ask you to die, and preferably quickly. There we go. Hopefully this is enough for another wish. It, it, oh, it is. Okay, come on, please, please, please. There's only nine minutes left. Holographic, oh, that's not holographic. Come on, we need 90-ish uh, more. Oh, achievements, achievements. Do we have a lot or just... Just one. Okay. <laughs> That's not going to go too far. Oh, you know, we could buy another one of these. Come on. Come on. That has to be enough, right? Please. <laughs> it's not holographic. Honestly, the only way that I get it at this point is if I spend. Okay, look. I spent 15 whole dollars. I'm not going to go spending hundreds and hundreds, but this light cone... Well, I mean, we're not even guaranteed to get the light cone, so that might have been a big mistake. But if we can get this light cone, it would be huge for this account i'm assuming that we can get it within the pulls that we have now maybe 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 oh that's not gonna help can i do a 10 pull oh i can okay perfect go go 10 go faster please be holographic please be holographic oh no oh no okay this one this one for sure there's no way that this one won't be holographic right wow oh this is so bad okay five dollars that's only five more dollars come on come on please please i don't have time gold go faster there's only three minutes left on this banner go no i swear i have to be over 70 by now there's no way oh there's 
Yes, there we go. $20, unfortunate, but there was no way possible we were getting it without spending that. And there's only two minutes left on this banner. Now, I think it was at the end of the last episode, we tried to attack this thing and it did not go well. I'm not so sure I expected to go much differently this time. Plus we only had one ultimate charged up beforehand. For some reason, he seems to be doing a lot less damage and he's down for the first time already. All right, impending doom, how much is this gonna do to us? A decent amount? but we took it pretty well. All right, well, I was entirely wrong. This was way easier. Himiko, you can have the first one of the Destroyer's Final Roads. That is probably not a name I'm ever going to remember. So now, Himiko is completely maxed in terms of traces, at least regarding what we can access right now. Ooh, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll take that too. And I'll take increased crit rate, yes, please. All right, one more time. We'll give this one last attempt right now. And if it goes poorly, then we will just have to spend a lot of time upgrading. We just need to play it smart. We need to make sure we always have a skill point saved up for this boy, and that did a lot of damage. Serval just barely lives. I thought she was definitely gone there. All right, we have made it to the halfway point. Come on, we can do it. I don't know if I actually believe that, but if I say it, maybe it'll come true. Stop attacking Jingyuan. I know he's the biggest threat and that's smart of you to do, but like, don't leave my boy alone. Okay, if Jingyuan survives this, Please, please, I just need the Lightning Lord to proc one more time. No! Oh, I think we were in a decent spot if that procced. Oh, that's so unlucky. Well, GG's. Unless you can do 11% in one hit, there's no way we're winning this. Oh, that was close. Okay, I, I was joking this time is the last attempt. Win or lose. We start by using every ultimate that I went around the map and farmed up in slow motion because I forgot to hit speed up. So we take out the two guys before they can even hit us once. Now, we just try and do tons upon tons of damage here. The Lightning Lord will get 10 juicy hits against Kafka. Let's see, damage. Pretty good damage. Okay, Himiko got dominated, which is a very weird sentence. That's not too bad as long as Jingyuan is here, we are good. Stop targeting him, please. He's my only hope of winning. Why is everyone targeting him? It's not looking like he's gonna live for much longer, but please live this. Okay, good. We should get another proc of the Lightning Lord at max stacks, and there's a good chance he's gonna die. So let's see, we do this, max stacks, boom. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Now we just need someone to live this and I think we're okay. Right here, big boom, let's go. Easy first try. Well, I guess we'll have to take on the deer in the next video. With that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy and as always, I will see you all next time.